the What Are We Doing podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the What Are We Doing podcast. My name's Levi McCurdy, and this is episode 82, I think, and it's St. Patrick's Day. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. Snoop Dogg has just landed in Scotland. <laughs> One of the most horrendous sounds you'll ever hear on the planet. One of the most horrendous sounds. But hey, I mean, props to him. Still, D-R-E, Snoop Dogg, just landed in uh, in Scotland. Looking rather dapper, by the way. He's got his board Ape Yacht Club sweatshirt on. I guess he still believes in NFTs. And, uh, you know, rocking some AirPods Max, having... A great St. Patrick's Day, and happy St. Patrick's Day to you, my friends. And let me just point out to you, if you didn't know, on this St. Patrick's Day, now you will, you're welcome, this gif exists. It's from the movie The Leprechaun, and it's a little pinch, okay? So go to your favorite gif site, search for The Leprechaun gif, probably something along those lines, and you'll find the little pinch, and um, you can send it to your friends. Every year on St. Patrick's Day, I haven't done it yet today, why don't we do it live on the podcast? This will be fun. It's 103. Let's go to my buddy Fred. Every year, uh, one of us sends a little boop, a little bop uh, of a, of a d- pinch of a gift to each other. Here it is. I'm sending mine now. Happy St. Patrick's Day. St. P. Day. I love it. Boom. Fred, you have... I need a green heart. Green. Let me just search for heart, maybe. Heart. I'll just use purple. Whatever. It's fine. Doesn't matter the color. He got the little pinch. You know what I mean? And so if you watch... It's St. Patrick's Day. You should watch the movie Leprechaun. You know what other movie you should watch? You should watch... um. Well, you should watch, you should watch, first you should watch Leprechaun, 1993's Leprechaun. You should watch Leprechaun 1, which came out in 1993. Then you should watch Leprechaun 2. Then you should watch Leprechaun 3. Then after that, you should watch Leprechaun 4 in space. And then immediately after you're done doing that, you should watch Leprechaun 5 in the hood, literally, And then after that, once you're done that, you should watch Leprechaun Back to the Hood, T-H-A, not T-H-E, just in case you don't find it in the search results. It's Leprechaun Back to the Hood. They did a second um, Leprechaun in the Hood uh, rendition. Then after you're done watching that, You should watch Leprechaun Origins. So they did like an origin story because the one question we've been asking for like the first four regular, well, the first three regular films, then they went to space, then they went to a hood, then they went to another hood. And so the question we've been asking the whole time is like, hey, where do these guys come from? You know what I mean? And so we do Leprechaun Origins. And then once you're done watching that, Okay, now I know we're probably a little sleepy. We want to go to bed. I'm tired. It's okay. We've only got one more. Then watch Leprechaun Returns. Okay, so it's a literal, let's see, 1993 to 2018. That's 18 plus 7. What's that, 25? It's a 25-year journey. Now, it's a 25 year cinematic masterpiece of a journey. So like, let's not get it twisted. Like, let's not, this won't be a waste of your time. 
whatsoever. I mean, at least each one of these, let me just see, each one of these, an hour and a half, an hour and a half, an hour and a half, they're consistent, an hour and a half, hour and a half, are they all? I mean, it's a perfect time. Perfect, so 90, perfect. So what's 90 times one, two, three, four, Wait, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 90 times eight. So 90 times eight, 720. 720, this is the most roundabout way to tell you. It's only gonna take 12 hours. It'll take literally, if you start right now, you'll still have plenty of sleep. If you start right now, you'll be done at 1 a.m. If you would start right now, at the moment I send you a dick pinch gif, if you would start watching Leprechaun 1, 2, 3, 4 in Space, 5 in the Hood, 6 in the Hood again, Leprechaun Origins, and Leprechaun Returns, you'd be done by 1 a.m. Start at 2, you'd be done at 2. Whatever 12-hour span you want, you still have time. Plenty of time today. I know plenty of people that could stay up till 4 a.m. watching the Leprechaun movies. Plenty of time. You want to get through half, do half today, maybe spend the weekend. Why don't we spend the weekend watching the Leprechaun movie series. I think it's a great idea. I think it's an amazing way to celebrate uh, St. Patrick's Day, coming from a Mick, you know, an MCC, or just MC, I guess, and I have an MC name, you know what I mean? I think we're, I'm pretty sure we're Irish, it's a thing. And, uh, you know, happy St. Patrick's. I don't, I don't have any Jameson yet. We don't have any Jameson in the house. Can you believe it? Can you believe a house full of Micks? Uh, no JMO. So we got to go get some. All I have is fireball whiskey. Paul said this counted. Paul said it's St. Patrick's Day and we could do it. It's whiskey nonetheless. Uh, let's see if it says anything about Irish being Irish. Product of Canada. We can't drink this on St. Patrick's Day, but it's all we have. Should we do it anyways? Or is that like respect to the fit? Is that disrespect to the heritage? Product of Canada. Nowhere near Ireland. Do Ireland people even live in Canada? It's whiskey, though. Paul said it was okay. I mean, if Paul says it's okay, it's okay, right? You know what I mean? It's St. Patrick's Day. Should we do it? Should we not? It's sealed shut because of how old it is. The sugar's like congealed it shut. Ugh. I can smell it. it. Smells like college. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. <laughs> Listen. God, it's awful. Terrible. Uh, it was just a swig, but it was enough. I think I'm going to throw up. Okay. I'm going to get scolded by the Irish community. I'm going to be banned from St. Patrick's Day forever. I got this gold coin. It's a Bitcoin. So I, I, I was going to send my son who's wearing all green today and has a head full of red hair. Uh, I, I was going to send him to school with a, a little black bucket and a bunch of gold coins. And so he could give gold coins to all of his friends at school today because he's a little little redheaded boy with long red hair and he's adorable and he's wearing all green. Two different shades, but that's fine. Listen, it's fine if he wears two different shades of green. He's adorable, Okay. So once you guys are done watching, Ensemble Cast, by the way, Ensemble Cast, uh, the Leprechaun. Once you guys are done watching um, everything else, Snoop touched down in Ireland this morning. And so, hey man, listen, I want to be Snoop Dogg. I want to be Snoop Dogg real bad. Um, Snoop Dogg's one of those people that, man, like, is he uncancelable? Have we ever canceled Snoop Dogg? I don't think we have. I think we might, like, what are we going to cancel him for? I mean, he doesn't have any, I don't think, at least that I know it, maybe. I don't know, like, what? 
is there anything in his past that he could have done to like, you know, I don't know, like maybe get canceled for, but like whatever. Other than that, Fred texts us back. Love it. <laughs> Fred said, LOL, you two be careful out there and sent also sent me a, uh, a, uh, a leprechaun gif. Fred, my buddy Fred's the reason I'm, I'm so desperately obsessed with movies like Sharknado and six headed shark attack and like the masterpieces of like the leprechaun series and like just the, 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 the like asylum sci-fi channel Sunday evening movies that you have to watch. You know what I mean? They're all, they're fantastic. They're all amazing. And they just, they, 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 they hold up. They hold up to a test of time. Anyone can watch the Leprechaun movies now. I'm surprised. Is Snoop Dogg in the Leprechaun movies? If Snoop Dogg's not in any of the Leprechaun movies, that's actually, um, like, that's actually like a crime. If Snoop Dogg's not in any of the Leprechaun movies, I'm actually upset. But, um... You know what I mean? Like, is there nothing Snoop Dogg can't do, by the way? Uh, Snoop Dogg's done, like, everything. Literally everything. Here's some of, like, the weirdest stuff. The weirdest stuff that I know that Snoop's done, like, besides the music, the Super Bowls, the the things he does on a daily basis, what he's doing, like, now in today's society. Like, the past, like, over the past few years. Like, he's been on Law & Order SVU. Like there's a photo of Benson just arresting his character, whoever, whatever he was playing. He started a football league, I'm pretty sure, for his son and his friends. He has a cooking show with Martha Stewart. He's got Snoop Loops and like six other cereals. He's got his own cereal, you know. Um, he's got like, I think multiple alcohols. I know he has a wine, maybe at a gin company, maybe. I don't know, but I know he has a wine. Uh, he's got his own, he started his own TV network where he has multiple original shows, dude. Like there's, it just goes on he, the list. He has multiple shows on his own TV. He, he did a commercial for a phone company. Like, look at this, look at this thing. He did this commercial. It's actually insane. You know, okay, ten cents a minute, ten free songs. Oh, okay. If you sign up for this German mobile, you probably got, you get 10 free songs. Oh, it's still going. Okay. You get 10 free songs when you sign up. So they had Snoop Dogg come sing for the commercial. Like strangest thing on the planet. You know what I mean? Hey, Snoop Dogg was in a, uh, Snoop Dogg was in a SpongeBob movie. A SpongeBob movie. Yo, SpongeBob, I got a dip. Y'all got this. Bring the prisoners to my office. Huh. What that guy mean by prisoners? Hey, what are we doing with Snoop Dogg in a SpongeBob movie? You know what I mean? It, it the list goes on and on and on and on and on. Hey, you know what else Snoop Dogg did? He was in a 2006 movie called uh, Arthur and the Invisibles. He did a song, obviously, for the for the soundtrack. Here's here's what it looked and sounded like. Look how terrifying and how utterly just so strange this is. But guess what? It's Snoop Dogg, so it's dope, dude. It's sickening how amazingly good this is for 2006. And then like all the other weird creatures show up, but like there's normal girls singing. It's so weird. Look at it. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, it's just one of the most. <laughs> Snoop, is there nothing Snoop Dogg can do? And like, speaking of the early, like the early 2000s, man, 
those times are so strange. Like we had such, it was such a boom. We had such a boom of bad technology. Like it was, it was such a great concept, but like our executable actions on that early technology was so far from what it should have been. Like you remember, um, you remember hit clips, you remember hit clips like Nickelodeon, I think was a part of it maybe, but there was a company that, that sold these little music players. They weren't MP. Well, they were, they were like MP3 players, but you, you put your little, your little clip in and then you had one song and you could listen to like one to two songs on your hit clip. And boy, oh boy, was it just, it was something that, that, that we had, you had like a whole keychain of hits on it because you just didn't want to listen to one song. You wanted to listen to the Drake and Josh. You wanted to listen to the um, Hillary Duff one you had. You want to listen to the Cheetah Girls one you had. And you wanted to listen to the uh, That's So Raven one you had. And so you would have all of them in your pack. And then you just put one in, hit play. Maybe hit play again. Put another one in, hit play, play again. And you had a one, it was called a hit clip because it just had one hit on it. And you could clip it on the stuff and you just took it with you. Whenever you wanted to hear that song, boom, you just played it because you had it because you had a little clip of it. And, uh, dude, but like, so beyond the time, because at the same time, or not beyond the time, but at the same time, we were getting things like the iPod and MP3 players were becoming a thing. Like, so the hit clip was out. So then they had to like redo it as the, um, the players, what were the video players? They were these video players. Let me see, mid 2000s video player. Here it is, what is this? What is this? Video now, a video now. They couldn't keep up with the hit clip, so they had to come out with a video now. I had one. These were the shit. And Liquid Death, dude, still hasn't called me. I've been streaming on Twitch, podcasting. Their products are in the shot. There's two cases right there. I mean, what more do I need to do, bro? Pick up the phone, send the email, the what are we doing podcast at gmail.com. I said it last week. They still haven't called. It's crazy. It's crazy. I know. I know. So we got a video now. And so what a video now was, was a one step up from the hit clip. And with the video now, the video now ran off of AA batteries, just like the hit clip or whatever, some form of battery. And it came with a little mini disc, not a full size DVD mini disc. And it had a little, like two, maybe one inch, maybe two inch screen. Some video nows were color some video nows were black and white. Now I unfortunately only had the black and white. The rest of the cool kids at school had the colors, right? With the bigger screen and you would have disc instead of DVDs. You would just have these little disc. Some of them came in a three disc pack. Like I had a three disc pack of Jimmy Neutron, Fairly Odd Parents and SpongeBob. I think I probably had, I had a Scooby-Doo, America's Funny Home Videos, The Amanda Show, a full pair of Fairly Odd Parents. I had a few SpongeBobs. The video now was, oh dude, Danny Phantom. The video now was like the precursor to our portable, like our iPod video and iPhone days. Like before we had iPhones and the YouTube app, we were watching our shows, just a rerun, the same show. Every time you put the disc in, it was the same show in your video now. And it was 15 minutes, no commercials, because that's how long the battery lasted. The video now is one of the greatest but like kind of far ahead of its time, but not really, but like, Hey, you know what I mean? What are we doing with just like the 10 minute episode on one disc dude? And I'm sure it was so expensive. I'm sure the device itself costs hundreds of dollars. I'm sure the video, the disc costs, you know, then 20 to 30. I'm surprised my father bought me one. I'm surprised I had a video now. I'm looking at it on Amazon. You can probably get them on eBay. 
I mean, this is talk about nostalgia. Video now color was like the newest one that like, I don't think I ever got that one because at that point in time, dad was tired of buying them and we had portable DVD players anyways. It just, I mean, it's kind of crazy. We went from hit clips to a video now to a portable DVD player to a Zune to an iPod touch to uh, an iPhone to watch all of our, to watch all of our videos to watch all of our videos and our portable media at the time. And now my son just has an iPad connected to the internet 24 seven. So he just has access 24 seven, you know what I mean? And, uh, so yeah. Yeah. Speaking of his access, dude, we're, we're trying to, we're trying to, well, I got to change it. First of all, Megs and I, Megs and I got to get out of this Verizon deal. I'll tell you what Verizon Fios home internet. A plus fast speeds. We get 600 down and we get 600 up. These YouTube videos go up lickety split like seven seconds, a 2k, 4k, 10 gig, 30 gig file, whatever the hell I'm exporting as this week, probably a two gig file. That's about 10 gigs big. You know what I mean? That shit easy, easy squeezy. We're uploaded in like five, maybe 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't take long at all. Download speeds, perfect. Can stream, no problem. Live on Twitch, HD over Wi-Fi. It's great. $60 a month. The price never goes up. It's not anywhere comparable to Xfinity and what those crooks are doing over there. The fact that they reel you in with the cheap $25, $30 a month plan and you get kind of half kind of decent download speeds, but like terrible upload speeds and like their Wi-Fi routers are terrible and you got to buy a $300 device anyways, if you want the whole house covered and like, you know, like they don't really take care of their customers and it's just annoying and you end up yelling at them and then they end up selling you like a cable package and a, and a phone package and like all the other stuff just to lower your bill. But then you pay more in the long run and then you're locked in. And then when you try to get rid of one of your services, they tell you it's going to be way more because you're not a new customer and you don't get new customer pricing. So, um, it's pretty crazy what Xfinity does to their internet and like cable customers. Hey, I'm sure a lot of people are happy with them, but every time I end up going back to Xfinity for about a minute, uh, they end up doing something shady, piss me off, change the price, do something, whatever. And I don't like it. And then it's just not even a good product. Verizon Fios, I haven't had an instant problem. Unfortunately, Fios and other fiber networks aren't really available to um, a lot of people. And it's unfortunate, but I try to, uh, you know, when we were buying this house, that was a huge consideration. One of the first things I asked our real estate agent was, Hey, what internet access is here? And when she said Verizon would come out, I said, great, we'll take it. So we got some fiber optics here. I love that. Um, but other than that, Verizon wireless, not doing it for me. I'm paying $230 a month, $230 a month for me, Meg's and the boys iPad two phone lines and an iPad. So it should be something like a hundred dollars a month, but for some reason there's an extra 130 in there somewhere. Um, we don't take advantage of any of the free stuff because like the Disney plus plan, no way I get that with my 199 Hulu. I upgrade it to 299 and I get Disney plus with my black Friday Hulu deal. If you get Hulu and you just have a regular account and you're paying any more than a dollar 99 a month or 99 cents a month, um, then you are, you're messing up. You need to just get your Hulu account canceled the day before on Thanksgiving while you're at the Thanksgiving table this year, uh, cancel your Hulu account. And then on Black Friday, when they release a sale, you can get Hulu for like, uh, it was 99 cents, but then inflation, and now it's $1.99, but it's still cheaper than everything else, and that's all I pay for Hulu ever. And then because of the boy we bundle in Disney+, Plus, it's like an extra $2. It's still cheaper than the regular plans. Okay, be smart. But our Verizon wireless bill is insane. 
So the phones are almost paid off. They're 12 Pro Maxes, whatever. There's like $100 left on each one. I'm sending them a check for the phones because it's like 200 bucks. It's literally equal to one more bill. And then I'm getting us on another plan. Speaking of other plans, shout out to Mint Mobile. Shout out to Ryan Reynolds. Get your bag, boo. Get the money. If T-Mobile comes knocking on your door, best bet I'm taking 1.3 billion as well. And considering he's majority owner of the company, I think he's got about 20 to 25%. He's walking away with, I think, if I had to guess, I didn't see any numbers online, but if I had to guess accurately, I'd say it's about a three, maybe 350 deal. He's walking away with maybe close to $400 million out of that Uh, $1.3 billion uh, for the Mint Mobile T-Mobile deal. Uh, Hey, you know, hats to you. Kings to you, Ryan Reynolds. If you watch our Twitch stream, you get the reference. Kings to you, Ryan Reynolds. Uh, He got some some of it in cash. I mean, he's not taking all that in cash. He got some of it in cash and uh, like 25% of it in T-Mobile stocks or something like that, whatever, stock deal, half and half. That's usually how these things go. But nonetheless, hey, the man is winning left and right. Just nonstop, nonstop wins for Ryan Reynolds. <clears throat> so Verizon, take note, um, because here's what's about to happen. Now, I know it's a Verizon company, dude, but we're switching to Visible. Okay, because for whatever reason, we can run Visible. It's A, Verizon. Like, I'm pretty sure Verizon owns Visible. B, it runs off of their network. And C, it's just an all about better deal. For $35 a month, according to their website right now, I can get everything I get on Verizon plus an unlimited hotspot, like 50 gigs, 5G, super fast. They don't care. Use whatever you need to use. No one uses 50 gigs a month. Unlimited hotspot, Mexico, Canada. That'll be great when we travel. Um, everything else you need. 35 a month. Me and Megs. I'll get an eSIM. It's lickety split. I don't got to go to the store. I don't have to pay for the phones. It's going to be 70 bucks a month. The boy can use our hotspot. And even if he needs his own line, it's still only going to be less than $100 a month. And for like $5 more, I could, I could get an Apple Watch that has connectivity on it too. And I can go for a hike and not have to worry about getting lost or eaten by a bear. But best you better believe if a bear does come, I will be pushing down any friends that I might think are slower and or faster than me. If you're with me in a bear attacks and we don't have a vital weapon to take it down, I will do everything in my power to push you in its way so I can escape. Sorry. I take my advice not from the National Forest Association, whoever put it out, the National Parks Association, whatever. So we're thinking about it. We were thinking Mint Mobile, but I really don't like T-Mobile as an overlord. Um, They've been hacked one too many times for me, if you know what I mean. And I know I'm sure like all the other companies I'm signed up with have been hacked and my information's out there and it's fine. And I do a podcast where I literally talk. If you dig deep enough, you'll find the first name, last name, kid's name, whoever's name, fiance's name. You probably know where we live. It's fine. Like, you know what I mean? Privacy isn't a huge deal here, but like, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so maybe not T-Mobile, maybe not the mint route. So I like the visible plan or I'm also thinking I'm considering I stumbled upon a video I'm considering as well. Another perfect example. Glenn Story right here from Patriot Mobile. I promise you folks, raise your hand if you don't have a phone. (laughs) I I gotta keep my phone away because I know like I'm on every FBI list imaginable so I just gotta keep it away because like they're gonna drone me one day. Like, you are- hey, by the way, stop. Listen. Hey, listen. Okay. Listen. First of all, Donald Trump Jr. <sighs> Jr. on stage doing his father's mannerisms. Strike one. Disgusting. I love it. It's the best thing ever. Take the strike away. I love it again, Simon Cow. I 
Love it. I love that he just imitates his father because he knows it will work. And so also joking about the FBI drone striking him at eh, two on the cheek, two on the cheek because it's pro maybe might. It's definitely possible still up in the air at this point. I'll have a phone. You all are going to use it. Well, you can give your money to AT&T, who has in the last month tried canceling Newsmax, who the month prior to that took off OAN out of millions of homes. They're at, the parent company is actively attacking conservative mindset. Again, nothing extreme. It's Newsmax and OAN. It's just the stuff that we all believe. That's extreme. We can't let them even have an opinion. We can't let them have a voice. So if you're going to have a phone, you can give your money to AT&T and watch it get weaponized against everything that you believe. Yep. Or you can go or, to Patriot Mobile. Like, it's that simple. By the way, it's that simple. By the way, it's that simple. Listen, listen, you fools. You silly, sleepy, you... you what the hell? You... Listen. It's simple, folks. Okay. Stop giving your money to these anti, these fascists, these terrible, these companies like AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, all these companies, these huge carriers. What happens when you pay your bill? Half the money goes into a CEO's pocket. The other half of the money goes into organizations like freaking, you know, anti-Christian organizations, anti-government organizations. I mean, these companies like AT&T and T-Mobile and the big mobile companies, they are taking the money that we give them for our phone service and they're just they're 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 just doing bad things with it. They're doing real bad things with the money. So instead, what we should do, according to Donald Trump Jr., and I think it's a good idea, I'm kind of backing him on this, what we should do is we should get Patriot Mobile. Now, what Patriot Mobile is going to do is they're going to give you the same great service that these stupid, anti-religious, freaking fricks, freaking CEO board fricks of a frick, of a freaking frick mobile company. They're, they're, we don't like them. They're, they're just nothing but scammy corporate interest. They raise the price. Patriot Mobile gives you unlimited talk, text, data, all for 20 bucks a month. And if you use code Donald Jr. Trump, if you use code Donald Trump Jr. when you're creating your account at patriotmobile.com, you get free activation. The carriers, the big boys, they don't even waive activation anymore. It's a $36 charge every time. Patriot Mobile is should be your next mobile carrier. Drop the big carrier. Stop giving your money to these companies that just turn around and 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 you know, they get, your data gets leaked, your money's not well spent. You get the same service with Patriot Mobile. And so, you know what I mean? Like the big carriers, they have an agenda. So it's either, it's up between Visible or Patriot Mobile. Now, you know what I mean? It's just, wow, wow, wow. I think what um, the only issue is, the only red flag, and it's a tiny, you know what? It's a tiny detail. It's a tiny detail. It's a tiny it's something, I don't know if we should be worried about it. The small detail that I think we might have missed, I don't know if they cut it out of the video, the promo video, the Donald Trump. The issue is mm, Patriot Mobile doesn't have a multi-billion dollar infrastructure of uh, mobile towers. And so unfortunately, Patriot Mobile is along the likes of other carriers such like Mint Mobile, you know, things like that, Verge, stuff like that. Um, and so unfortunately, so Patriot Mobile runs off of T-Mobile's towers. So, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay if they pay the big, non-woke, anti-government, anti-religious, just against 
everything mankind has to stand for carriers. As long as we're not paying them, so we pay Patriot Mobile directly, and then they use that money for things good, like like church and campaigns and CPAC and this, you know, endorsement from Eric Trump Jr. Of course, and so they use their money for good, and so but it's okay that their money's a little dirty to pay T-Mobile. It's fine as long as we don't pay T-Mobile directly. Eric Trump and the and the Patriot Mobile team are okay, Eric Trump, I keep calling him Eric Trump, Donald Trump Jr. and the Patriot Mobile team have got you taken care of. They're going to take the heat because, I mean, someone's got to pay T-Mobile for the towers. Am I right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, It's, uh, it's, yeah, I mean, it's crazy. So, so we're either switching to Patriot Mobile or Visible. And uh, we're, we're going to make that switch here soon. It's going to be real soon, real soon. But congratulations to Ryan Reynolds. And uh, also congratulations to uh, Donald Trump Jr. on your Patriot Mobile endorsement. Um, I hope, I think that promo code that I gave is still valid. So if you want to join Patriot Mobile, by all means, uh, we're also looking for a full-blown sponsor of this podcast. So, hey, if you want to pay for our mobile service, uh, my whole family's mobile service and a few of our fans and, uh, you know, put a logo up and a neon sign here in the studio, by all means, Patriot Mobile, we'll take your money. We'll sell out. We'll sell out in two minutes. Get me on the phone with Donald Trump Jr. Listen, I don't care. I'm not, I don't, I, I'm not, I don't vote. I don't do a thing. I don't know what a Democrat or a Republican is. All I know that a man named Donald Trump Jr. is repping Patriot Mobile, and if he wants to sponsor this podcast, I'll take anything he's willing to offer. Because, you know, hey, you're not signing up for patreon.com backslash what are we doing, are ya? You know, because it's a dollar. I wouldn't have to sell out to Donald Trump Jr. and Patriot Mobile if you just would sign up for a dollar, dude. But now I'm forced to do it. I'm forced to partner with Donald Trump Jr. And so the neon sign's coming soon. That's the big announcement. The neon sign will be here soon, just like Justin Bieber will be. And so, you know, you know what I mean? Um, hey, in other news, man, listen, she's still the sweetest bitch you'll ever meet. Sammy's back, baby. Okay. Sammy is back. Sammy's sweetheart is still the sweetest bitch you'll ever meet. I couldn't be more excited. And listen, I don't think the producers and the people at MTV and the Jersey Shore cast could be more excited either because this means their ratings are going through the roof. Okay. Because listen, we could only take one more episode of, uh, you know, Angelina and Vinny fighting Angelina and Vinny almost having sex together, Angelina divorcing her husband, Angelina fighting with the situation on Twitter, Angelina creating fake beef, Angelina's wedding drama. I mean, if we have one more episode where it's like Snooki said something about me and TMZ said this, I think the show's going to be over. So what did we need to do in order to revitalize the show in 2023? Because let's be honest, another situation child is great. Ratings are boosted for about a week or two, but I'm pretty sure we're back down again. So let's spend the bag. Let's stop with everything else we've been doing. And let's finally drop the bag. There's no way, there's no way Sammy came back for less than 50 mil. I guarantee you, I've looked up and down the internet to try to find a number, a rumored number of how much money this woman got for coming back to this show because she swore so much so that the freaking cat, Snooki, Wow, still on podcast with the camp counselor, Zachariah, shout out, follow Zachariah on TikTok. follow the camp counselors podcast, follow Jonathan on Instagram, follow them all everywhere. But from interviews, everything leading up to this season, 
every single interview that's happened with Snooki and all of them since the show started and since Sammy left, every question has been, Will Sammy ever come back? Will we ever see Sammy again? Are you still friends with Sammy? What's Sammy saying? What's Sammy doing? Where's Sammy at? Is she coming back now? How about this season? How about this season? Family vacation's coming back. Is Sammy coming back? Is Sammy going on vacation? What about this year? Where's Sammy? Sammy opened a shop. Is she still your friend? Are you still hanging out with Sammy? Every interview, every question is about her and every single time the answers are the same she's never coming back she's never coming back snooki says it jwow says it sammy says it oh sammy's doing an instagram live to promote her new business or new shop her new thing her new fiance or new endeavor she broke up with her fiance it's fine she's single now she's doing her own thing she's having fun she has multiple shops in ocean city new jersey boardwalk no one wants to ask her about all that. All they want to know is, when you coming back? Hey, when you coming back? This season? Now? Tomorrow? When you coming back? When's the last time you talked to Snooks? When's the last time you went to the club? When you coming back? Did you see Pauly D? When you coming back? And that's all they ask her. And guess what? We finally did it. After six years, after years and years and years of pushing and pushing and pushing this girl back on to this television show, she's still the sweetest bitch you'll ever meet. And so Sammy's back, baby. They were just filming about 20 minutes away, literally at a, a ski lodge about like an hour from my house. And uh, Snooki was there. JWoww was there. Dina was there. Angelina was there. And a beautiful bombshell of a Sammy sweetheart was there. Coincidence that Ron is no longer on the show. I think not. She didn't get there for less than 50. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I think I won a number. We'll see a number eventually. It'll come out. But like, I need to know what that number was because that bag must be significantly large. Significantly large. I mean... Let's rewind to five years ago, before the world went to shit, before the pandemic, before the lockdown, before everything, before Biden, before everything was different, right? Before we shifted realities. Let's go back five years ago, 2018. I mean, man, the year was 2018, and so my sister and her fiancé at the time, they've been married since, uh, my, f my sister and her fiancé at the time decided they were going to run a St. Patrick's Day 5K. Now, this isn't out of norm for them. These girls will bike, run, and walk like 5 to 10 miles a day. That, and that's like outside of everything else that they're doing. Like it's a dedicated time for them to do like five miles every day. So like, and if they don't, they start twitching. It's like that one, like that, like that one boss you used to work for who like around one or two o'clock, if they didn't have a beer in their hand, like they started shaking a little bit. If these girls don't run like by like two or three o'clock, they like start to freak out. Okay, so they need some form of like mileage in their lives. So like doing a 5K for St. Patrick's Day, you know, Thanksgiving, like Turkey Day trot. These things aren't uncommon for them. So they say, hey, we're going to downtown Berg. We're doing the 5K St. Patrick's Day. Why don't we the night before? I think the day before was big celebration downtown. The next morning you get up, do the 5K. Now, no one thought it through that, uh, you know, two bottles of Jameson and two bottles of vodka later probably would result in, you know, a fantastic and probably record-breaking time of a 5K. So Morgan and my sister and her fiance at the time, we got the, uh, the hotel room. We went up there and me, my sister, my sister-in-law and Megs had a blast. Okay, we were playing games. We had the Nintendo 64 going. We had uh, we had the vodka flowing. We were playing like a shots game, like a little thing, like you do the hook or whatever. We were having fun with that. 
And they told him because it was their anniversary, right? Around this time of year, it's their anniversary. They're in Mexico right now for their anniversary. Shout out to last year's trip. You know, you know, you listen to the pod, you know what went down. Okay. And so, um, you know, it's their anniversary time. So the hotel upgraded them to like top floor penthouse suite. Here's the anniversary room. No one's got it. You guys can have it. Crazy. Right. So they're getting room. We're getting room service. We have access to a VIP lounge. So my sister goes, you know what? Yeah, we'll play games. We'll take shots. We're all taking shots. We're like, shit, we haven't eaten anything. Let's go up to the VIP lounge where they have like appetizers, hot beds with like, you know, little things in them, like snacks, like so much, so much. Um, There, so like, you know, like drinks and like snacks and stuff. Like it was, it, it's a holiday. So there's a bunch of stuff up there. So we get there meatballs, little egg rolls, little chicken bites, chips, snacks. It's a party, pretzels. Like we're having a good time in the VIP room of this like executive level floor of this hotel, right? We're drunk, we're eating, we're having a good time. We get back on the elevator to go back to the room because now we're thinking, let's go to dinner. Let's go out. Let's get a few more drinks. Let's go to dinner. We get back in the elevator. My sister immediately projectile vomits all over the hallway of the top floor of this hotel. You need special access. Like you need a special card to even click the button in the elevator to get to where this is in the hotel. And we're now vomiting on the floor. And so we let her finish that and we kind of just scurry back into the elevator and just kind of let that go. Uh, And so we go back to the room and like my sister is now down and out. We didn't make it to dinner. We didn't make it out for celebrations. And you can bet your bottom dollar, put in the comments right now, whether or not you thought they did not make it to the 5k the next day. Trust me. But Hey, we had a blast. Nonetheless, nonetheless, you know, until my sister threw up in the hallway of the hotel and we kind of had to call it a night. It was great. A great St. Patrick's day. Nonetheless. So if you have any crazy St. Patrick's day stories, dude, put them in the comments, put them down below, make them long, make them short, hit us up on Facebook, send us a message there. If it's too long, send us an email. Speaking of emails, the email is the, what are we doing podcast at gmail.com. Someone sent us an email. I put out a clip last week. Someone sent us an email with something for the podcast And, uh, they did. And they just said, here, do something with this shout out to you. Uh, I don't know if you want me to say your name first. I'll say first name. Our friend Santiago sent these in. I'll put the pictures on the screen. It's a picture of a chimpanzee wearing what looks like a sign that says, keep it real. And he also sent another picture of a chimpanzee wearing a a tuxedo and a hat. And so that's kind of cool. And we like seeing chimpanzees wearing clothes on this podcast. I like that we put clothes on the chimpanzee. It better backs the fact that that's probably where we came from. We're probably either the aliens dropped us off when they built the pyramids or we're just evolved monkeys over thousands and thousands of years. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Listen to Joe Rogan. He'll tell you where we came from. Like evolution, the monkeys, the chimps, the big blast. Joe Rogan has all the answers. Go ask Joe about it. He'll tell you where it came from. Okay, let's talk about it. Let me know in the comments down below. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been another episode of the What Are We Doing podcast. My name's Levi McCurdy, and this has been another freaking amazing episode hour. Thank you guys so much for watching. Listen, we have so many things planned. If you've, uh, been following along with the, uh, the Twitch channel, thank you so much. Uh, we're growing over there at a very interesting rate. So be on the lookout for that. I think I have a a schedule. I think I have a schedule written down right now. I just got to run it by a few people and I think we'll have an official Twitch schedule for streaming. 
We're going to have a podcast schedule coming soon because right now our YouTube channel is sporadic and all over the place because I just post when I have time, which is usually all the time. But like, you know, sometimes it's all the time. Sometimes it's not. And so uh, it's crazy, dude. We're having a friggin' blast. Uh, Paul and I, there goes my mic. I mean, we're just drooping all over the place. Paul and I have plans to, uh, we're going to uh, start doing like Friday evening podcasts together. We've got some things coming in that aspect, man. Dude, websites to check out. Wadpod.com, W-A-W-D-P-O-D.com. That'll take you to our site. Uh, wadpod.com backslash links is all of our links are pretty much our link tree. Uh, the do better network.com is a great resource. If you're trying to start podcasting or want to, or already have, or whatever it is you're doing. Um, and then man, oh man, what else you need to check out? Um, you just need to check out all the links in the description down below. If you need help, if you need any products, if you need anything else, find what you need there. Leave us a comment, leave us a like, hit subscribe, hit the like button. Hey, remember what I said last week? Still reigns true. It will remain true until you do it. It's a, it's in indefinitely a thing that will happen if you do not click the like button on this video, on this podcast, if you don't rate us five stars, if you don't hit subscribe, like, follow, a ninja will come and kick you in the throat. I'm sorry, it's how it has to be, but for now, I've hired a group of ninjas to pretty much find anyone who watches this video and doesn't hit subscribe or like or follow. So I'm sorry, but that's how it has to be. My name's Levi McCurdy. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode. We're on our way to 100, uh, and that one's going to be so much fun. We're planning so much behind the scenes, and I'm probably going to let you down. Liquid Death still hasn't called me, by the way. The whole time I'm doing this episode, hasn't called. Hasn't called. Can you believe it? They still haven't called.